Hey, what's up, guys? John here. Is Charles Schwab about to go bust? Well, because American consumers aren't trusting it anymore. They pulled out 31% of all their deposits in the last 12 months. I'm talking $304 billion, $304 billion, $790 million to be specific. In the last 12 months, they pulled out from this financial institution. Layoffs uh, coming to Charles Schwab, the company headquartered in Westlake. It's downsizing. The company expects to save $500 million a year with this move. What we're starting to see here is massive layoffs by the thousands, 2,000 people today, for example, were completely laid off quietly. 2,000 people at Charles Schwab. Many banks and financial institutions doing the same thing, laying off tens of thousands of people. You have to ask yourself why. Big banks have been quietly cutting jobs and more layoffs could be coming. Why would they be doing this if we're walking into a soft landing? Maybe because we're not. Maybe we're walking into some very, very big problems and a lot of banks are getting prepared for this. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna show you what's really happening to help position you for what looks like the inevitable. Please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube will share this content to educate the people about what's really happening. And if you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you. My company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com by clicking the link in the description to schedule a free strategy session. Take a look at this. So, among the top 15 deposit holders, Charles Schwab reported the largest year over year decrease in deposits of 31.1%. Think about that. For every $100 they had in 2022, now they're only holding not even 70 bucks of it, right? They're, consumers are pulling their money out. But the big question is, are consumers gonna deposit more in 2024, or are they gonna continue to pull it out as the economy goes through uh, what looks like a very bumpy landing, to say the least? I would bet that these deposits are gonna continue to shrink. Now, how are they gonna stay in float? afloat if they are going to have all their costs, the 36,000 employees, all these offices all over the place. They're not. It's going to be a huge restructuring, a very, very, very big restructuring across, I believe, all the financial institutions. So $304 billion, $79 million, $790 million, according to S&P Global, which attributed the decline mostly to outflows from brokerage accounts. They go on to say that they purchased TD Ameritrade, in 2019, it was a $26 billion acquisition, $26 billion in 2019. And this year, early this year, they started moving funds from TD Ameritrade to Charles Schwab. If you had an account with TD Ameritrade, you probably got all the emails notifying you to create a password and to set everything up. Well, what ultimately happened during that period, consumers started waking up, realized, hey, I have money at TD Ameritrade, let's see what the account's doing. And you know, maybe I should liquidate, maybe I should pay off my student loans, maybe I need to pay off some debt, maybe I need to make different arrangements, different plans. They're looking around, seeing Silicon Valley Bank collapse and First Republic and all these problems happen, PacWest getting acquired by Bank of California. You're starting to see the fear start to hit in a lot of these brokerage accounts. And so you have to ask yourself, how are they going to be able to weather this storm? Look at this. They say they're already committing to a cost-cutting strategy of $500 million. They're gonna to try to cut expenses $500 million. And so today, one person quoting reliable sources posted on social media that about 2,000 people were laid off today. Laid off today. Came out October 30th, right? Came out today on the only round of cuts this year. Schwab lists 35,900 employees on its About Schwab website. Now, why does Charles Schwab need 35,900 employees? Well, they don't. And so what's going to happen, I believe, with Charles Schwab is going to be unbelievable. Look at this. And here's a really, I mean, this cements this. This is almost a guarantee of what's going to happen. Uh, along with reducing, and I said almost a guarantee, along with reducing its office space in San Francisco, Charles Schwab is conducting layoffs in its effort to cut back on cost. The company announced in its recent filing in the U.S. Security Exchange Commission, Charles Schwab expects to incur four to five hundred million in costs related to the eliminating of employees. The filing states the reduction in employees and downsizing of offices across the country are expected to save the company five hundred million dollars a year. As we said in July, we intend to take a series of actions this year and on and into 2024, either removing cost and complexity from the firm, including reducing our expense base and streamlining our operational model. What does this mean? This is what it means. IBM plans to replace nearly eight thousand jobs with AI, 8,000 jobs with AI. And they're not talking, you know, small little, uh, you know, 
easy to replace jobs. They're talking very, very educated, savvy, savvy employees. And so what are they going to do? The same exact thing is what's going to happen with Charles Schwab. They say the result will be eliminating some positions in the coming months, mostly non-client facing areas. AI is what's going to happen. Technology, generative AI, all of this change is going to streamline the entire process, allowing them to save hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions. Now you might say, John, that's not going to happen. You have to ask yourself, why would you keep 35,900 employees in all these offices when the customer base has less money today and will likely have less money tomorrow? You wouldn't, right? Because they're going to earn less in fees. They have to restructure. They have to change everything. And that's what they're going to be doing. But it's not just going to be the Charles Schwab's of the world. All the big banks are already doing it. They're just not telling you about it. They're not telling anyone about it. I mean, look at this. Big banks, they've already fired 20,000 employees this year. They call it quietly. They're quietly cutting. Shh. They're cutting 20,000 employees, not telling anybody. But now they're coming out saying, okay, we're going to talk about this now. Came out two weeks ago, right? So when they're cutting all these employees, and then you look around what's happening, all the chaos overseas right now, you have to ask yourself, are they preparing for a very, very bumpy 2024 and 2025, realizing that their pre-existing business model, the one that you know built out their empire, is not going to be sustainable. What does that mean? Well, the banks make money by lending money into existence. If consumers are pushed to the brink of financial collapse, they can't get approved for new loans, they do not have access to lines of credit, they can't make the fees, they can't make money lending them money. And if they're pulling money out of the bank to try to make good on paying off their pre-existing bills, trying to weather this storm, that's also bad for them. They're gonna have less deposits. And if you look at where banks are generally lending money, they're lending money on cars. And cars right now, auto delinquencies are the highest at you know almost a 23 year high since the dot-com bubble. Then you have credit card defaults, higher now today than the great financial crisis. You have commercial real estate walking into a very, very, very big problem. A lot of banks are holding this debt. So what are you, what are you seeing here? One problem after the next, one problem after the next for these banks, financial institutions. And so it makes a lot of sense that they are cutting jobs, but it makes more sense that there is no soft landing. The, that story, Jerome Powell saying, oh yeah, soft landing. Where are consumers getting money? That's the big question. Wages, real wages are coming down. So if real wages are coming down, how are consumers going to be able to survive in an environment where wages are coming down, the cost of food, the cost of living, utilities, everything is going up, interest rates are going up. There's no way, there's no way, especially walking into this technological revolution. Wages are gonna to continue to fall in most areas and banks are gonna to start to see massive consolidation like Janet Yellen has warned us. Janet Yellen, Jerome Powell, they've all said it. One headline after the next, over the last six months, every, every you know, six to eight weeks, they come out saying it again and again and again. They're normalizing it because they want people to be ready for what's actually happening. Not just saying it to you know, be entertaining, they're getting everybody ready. Charles Schwab, spokesperson, Peter Greenlee, added that there's no specifics available as to how many positions will be eliminated. The company is also reducing its office square footage across the country, including two 11 Main Street offices in San Fran, and it's being fully closed, while others, including the company's former headquarters on Main Street, are remaining open, but being downsized, Schwab moved its headquarters from San Fran to Dallas. Why did they move from San Fran to Dallas? Why would you want to be in San Francisco if you're going to pay top-notch for talent? top notch for office space, top of the echelon for tax brackets, you're going to have all of these problems running a business in San Francisco that you probably you know, might not have the same type of problems in a place like Dallas, right? So of course, you're going to start seeing that. The company is currently assessing real estate footprint and plans to close or downsize certain office, corporate offices. The, in addition, the company plans to reduce its operating costs primarily through lower headcount professional services. These cost-saving measures come in preparation for Charles Schwab's full merger with TD Ameritrade, according to the filing. The company first acquired TD in 2019. The current transitioning of all the accounts to Charles Schwab began early this year. The company employs about 30,000 people. Well, they say 30,000 here. Um, so here, they're listing 35,900. So maybe it's 35,900, maybe it's 30,000. Maybe they laid off 5,900 people quietly, and now they're adding to the layoffs and firing another 2,000. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess we're going to see how this whole thing plays out. But one thing I am sure of, is that uh, is we're going to see a lot more consolidation across a lot of these types of brokerage accounts. We're going to start seeing a lot of change unfold throughout the financial services.
no doubt about it. You already seen you already seen 3,000 regional banks and large banks have closed in-person branches over the last 12 months. 3,000, 3,000. This trend is going to go from 20,000 employees. Mark my words, that's going to be a multiple. 40,000, 50,000, 60,000. You're going to continue to just to see this number go up in 2024, 2025. We have $2 trillion in corporate debt that businesses have to refinance just next year. $2 trillion. What's going to happen? You're going to start seeing more and more and more layoffs. Deposits are going to continue to shrink across the board. So a lot of changes coming. A lot of opportunities coming for the prepared. So I'm not saying this to concern anyone, but you know, facts are what's important. Looking at things clearly to make smart, well-informed decisions based on what's really happening far outweighs hopium. What do you think about it? Drop below, hit the like button, add me on our G. And if you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description to schedule a free strategy session. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.